I will be making chicken ballastata. This is from the northern region of Italy, and this is a delicious dish. A lot of preparation involved in it, though. Uh, what you will need is you'll need a large onion, a container of mushrooms. I have portobello mushrooms here. I have one large green pepper, a red pepper, two cans of diced tomatoes. I have prosciutto chopped up, diced. I have six cloves of garlic, and I also have four whole chicken breasts, cut, butterflied, flattened, and um, pressed with prosciutto on the top, and I'll show you how to do that afterwards. First of all, I'm going to go to this pan, and I'm going to put olive oil and garlic, and heat that up. I'm going to start my vegetables first. I'm going to add to that the diced up prosciutto. Okay, see how this the garlic has cooked and the prosciutto has got nice and crispy. So I'm going to add the vegetables to that. While this is working, you're going to be working on the chicken, on browning that chicken. To this, I'm going to add a half a cup of white wine. A little bit more. Stir that up. Now I'm not going to season this because you have the garlic, you have all the vegetables, you have the tomatoes all the flavor from all the vegetables you won't need to season it at all so we let that simmer okay now we're going to start our chicken in another pan in this pan I have olive oil about three tablespoons of olive oil and about two tablespoons of butter I'm going to add to it the rest of my garlic Let that get all nice and happy. Let that saute a bit before I put my chicken in there. Now, the chicken breast, I pounded out, flattened, and also pressed some prosciutto into one side of that. When you put it into the pan, you're going to put the prosciutto side down so that cooks first. I'm going to put this in flour. All I have in this flour is basil. I'm going to coat that. Shake off the excess. Set it prosciutto side down. Here is the last one. Clean up here. Okay, this chicken is cooking. I put my pasta water on. I'm going to put that on high. Get that boiling. And I'm also going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. The last of the chicken breasts are done. We'll put these in baking dishes. I'm going to finish it off in the oven. I'm going to turn this down. Now I'm going to add another half a cup of white wine to the glaze that pan for our sauce. All that flour that was on the chicken will help to thicken all that sauce.
and I'm going to add some juice from the vegetables as well, put it into the pan. Got all that flavor from all the vegetables and the prosciutto, garlic. If you get vegetables in there, no big deal. Because you want the sauce to pour over the chicken. So when it's baking in the oven, it keeps it nice and moist. Okay, the sauce is thickened. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this over top of our chicken breasts. Add some vegetables in the pan, and the rest of the veggies I'm going to leave for afterwards for our pasta and to top off the chicken afterwards. I want the vegetables in there for some flavor. Now, I'm going to top that with some Fontana cheese. Okay, that's the last piece of cheese. And we're going to finish this off in a 350 degree oven for approximately seven to eight minutes until the cheese is melted. Okay, the chicken is in the oven. My pasta water is boiling vigorously. Now it takes approximately, I say five minutes to cook pasta. You want to cook it al dente, which is to the tooth, which is a little firmness left to the pasta. Um, I'm going to wait to put that in until the chicken's just about done, because the chicken's going to sit for a couple minutes before you serve it. And I did salt this water generously. Took the chicken out of the oven, ready to plate this up. I got my pasta on the plate. Gonna add some vegetables to the top of that. Use a piece of chicken. Add that to the top as well. And Going to add some of this wonderful sauce from the pan itself over top. Got all those wonderful vegetables, all that wonderful sauce. Doesn't that look delicious? Got my microplane here. Just melts very nicely. Push that off. There you have it. Chicken follow the starter.